Now if you visit the mountains of Fibble, you won't see a shoe or a pot. Instead, they throw flowers and candy to nibble. I bet that you'd like it a lot. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry. The part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. Our curtain opens as Larry, having just finished his morning bath, is searching for his hairbrush. Having no success, Larry cries out. Oh, where is my hairbrush? Oh, where is my hairbrush? Oh, where, 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 oh, where? In my hairbrush. Having heard his cry, Pa Grave enters the scene. Shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of Larry in a towel, Pa regains his composure and reports. I think I saw a hairbrush back there. Back there is my hairbrush. Back there is my hairbrush. Back there, back there, oh, where, back there, oh, where, oh, where, back there, back there, back there. Is my hairbrush. Having heard his joyous proclamation, Jonah Asparagus enters the scene. Shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of Larry in a towel, Junior regains his composure and comments. Why do you need a hairbrush? You don't have any hair! Larry is taken aback. The thought had never occurred to him. No hair? What will this mean? What will become of him? What will become of his hairbrush? Larry wonders. No hair for my hairbrush. No hair for my hairbrush. No hair, 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 no I'm sorry, I didn't know, but I gave it to the peach, because he's got hair. Feeling a deep sense of loss, Larry stumbles back in the vents. Not fair, oh my hairbrush. Not fair, my poor hairbrush. Not fair, not fair, no hair, not fair, no wear, no hair, not fair, not fair, not fair. My little hairbrush. Having heard his lament, the peach enters the scene. Himself in a towel, both Larry and the peach are shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of each other. But recognizing Larry's generosity, the peach is thankful. Thanks for that hairbrush. Yes, good has been done here. The peach exits the scene. Larry smiles, but still feeling an emotional attachment for the hairbrush, calls out. Take care of my hairbrush. Take care of my hairbrush. Take care, take care, no fair, not care, take care, nice hair, no fair, take care, take care of my hairbrush. The end. Oh, what a So, is there anyone else you'd like to invite to your birthday party? Um, let's see. Don't forget Louie. Oh, and Marsha. I think that's it. Are you forgetting anyone else? No, I don't think so. Well, what about Fernando? I bet he'd like to come. No, not Fernando. Why not? Well, he just moved here, so I don't know him very well. And besides, he talks kind of funny. Now, Junior, he doesn't talk funny. He just talks different. His family is from another country. Yeah, I know. It still sounds funny. You know, Junior, God wants us to love everybody, not just the people that are like us. So we need to accept others just the way they are. Besides, we can learn a lot from people who are different than us. Yeah, I suppose. I'll tell you what. You think about it, and in the morning we'll talk some more. Okay? Okay. Good night, Junior. Good night, Dad. Okay.
good. Ah, who are you? I'm Bob. I'm a tomato, and I need your help. Whoa, deja vu. Um, what's he got on his space helmet? Huh? What do you mean? Larry. What? How many times have I told you not to eat while you're wearing your helmet? Oh, sorry. <clears throat> we need your help, Junior. Our starship, the USS Apple Pies, is in grave danger. Oh, really? Tell me more. In just eight minutes, the ship and its crew will be smashed to bits by a giant meteor. Good heavens. Well, can't you just move the ship out of their way? 